Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, wait for the perfect time. It is the Monday Mayhem wrap-up. I, I, and I got a thing, and I got a thing. Sorry, Mad Mike is in the bathroom. Uh, that's why i am solo here it is the sorgatron media studios it is the monday mayhem wrap up and we are hanging out here with you guys on the facebook and it was a monday night from london on time delay so that all of you feel how um they do in california we'll have mad mike in here in just a moment apparently but in the meantime and missy's on the other side looking at me looking at me are you gonna join me over here you're gonna join me over here are you hanging out? All right. I, I, I Turn your mic on. Uh, hey, I wanted to get it live because it's, it's 10 minutes, uh, minutes after Raw, and I want to make sure we have something going on here. In the meantime, I do have some wrestling to talk about. Um, I got to take, uh, you know, do some work. Yeah, as you guys know, uh, we've mentioned several times this traveling season, and uh, so far I am four for four on my re- on my uh, finding wrestling in on these uh, business trips that I have going on, right? Uh, and I ended up, ended up in international big time wrestling uh, in Detroit, Michigan. I was hanging out over in Brooklyn, Michigan, just south of Ann Arbor. Got me some Coney Island while I was up there, just like the good old days when uh, I was doing some uh, uh, work for a uh, Zach Allen uh, documentary. I didn't have Jimmy Jacobs telling me awkward stories about his relationships at this time, though, so that was kind of nice. Uh, but anyways, I don't know if your mic is on over there. Hello. The, there oh, you are. Wow. Yeah, yes. There, there I am. There I am. I was just letting you get sorted over there. Yeah. Uh, no, it, it's funny because I saw Beastman this weekend and you also saw Beastman this weekend. I know, weekend. it's so <laughs> weird. So I saw Jesse the Mark, he was posting, he had a post of like, I completely saw Beastman two times in a row this weekend, Friday and Saturday for the, uh, Sean Phoenix show, as well as, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the Fight Society show. Uh, so <laughs> that was kind of a fun, that was kind of a fun thing. And I was like, well, I saw him in Detroit too, and it was awesome. And he's teaming up with his new good buddy, uh, Congo Kong. Uh, out there too of uh, I guess impact wrestling fame uh, no I did not pick up a case of Fago so it was also it was not only was this I did not realize I mean kind of mentioned in passing and it didn't really sink into me but apparently this was a juggalo show and I didn't it was like I'm like well what the hell is international big time wrestling this promotion as, as Mad Mike is joining us on the line here Mad Mike uh, in progress hey Mike how you doing hi what were, were you taking a long time loading? Were you having to? Were you having a hard time digesting that raw? Um, it it's been a day. <laughs> Understandable. Been a day. Yeah. Understandable. Well, we were just talking about my trip to uh, uh, my wrestling experiences in Detroit, Michigan, uh, just Sunday here. Did you see Rhino? I did not see Rhino. Amazingly, I did not see Rhino. He was mentioned. Did Did you Did you battle rap with Falcon? <laughs> Falcon. Ooh. Oh. Falcon. 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 You're talking about Anthony Mack Falcon? Yeah. Oh. Uh, he was Papa Doc. Well, I, I ended up at it. So, so Beastman, um, um, after Black Diamond last weekend, um, said, uh, hey, I'm going to Detroit. Who's with me? And I'm like, actually, I'm up in Michigan. So I, I, and it's a, it was a free show in Mexican town in southwest Detroit. Um, yes, if any of you are aware, I was basically uh, going through – uh, I, I took a picture at one point on Google Maps. It was uh, it was Southwest Detroit, Delray, and Zug Island. I sat at the Chachi and said, "This is a geographical representation of my playlist." It's a bunch of Juggalo references for you guys if you don't know that. Uh, but uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, but it, so it was it was in a club. It was free, uh, but they had limited quote free tickets on Eventbrite. Um, and they were selling pizza and cokes and glass bottles and and uh, and beer, of course. So it was a lot of fun, and it had like Congo Kong on it. Well, and the next one is going to have Willie Mac. I have I have a question for you, sir. Yes, is this the weekend indie wrap up? It, it has become that. I don't know if okay. you've been paying attention to the show. I don't pay attention to the show. Are you kidding me? It's just it, it's just kind of like the first thing to decompress because everybody's like hot about Raw usually. So it's just like, well, what's your good in wrestling? And that's my good in wrestling. So. My, my good in wrestling and something that can make people hot too is uh, I'm getting ready for the women's show that's coming up. Yes. So I've been, I've been doing a lot of Photoshopping and putting together we, yeah, we've been Yeah, we've been women. doing a lot of stuff. We were setting up some Fight Society stuff from the past weekend, getting some promos ready. Uh, some Angel Gate stuff that's going to be popping up here. Um, 
Of course, the IP review we've been already talked about on the main show. Uh, and uh, what else was I working on? Oh, RWA. We finally released RWA from a couple weeks ago, just in fi- time for their new show this weekend. Uh, so oh, that's right. that is good getting that too. promotion out there so people know what's going on. Hopefully uh, get some butts in the seats for them, too. So a lot of great stuff going on here. Uh, a lot of fun. So so it was weird because this was a Juggalo show, Mike. Oh. <laughs> it, it oh was, it's okay. Kind of, it was kind of an unlabeled juggalo and you, show. And you didn't have Fago? No, uh, well, yeah, it just goes with the territory, right? You had you had Mexican Coke, essentially. Yeah, I had Mexican the, Coke. The glass, it didn't sell balls. Fago at the bar. Oh, so it was El Fago. But well, yes, El Fago. Um, <laughs> I, I, but I walked in. I, I did walk into a few gas stations, and was just like, oh, there's just like there's just tons of Fago in here instead of Coke. Uh, so I'm like, oh yeah, I'm in Detroit. That's right. Uh, but uh, no, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was a cool show. Uh, it was uh, really awkward with the lighting. Like, I, it was like the second time they've done wrestling. It was the first time in that room because they do concerts in that room. I guess last time it was an ICP uh, exclusive party. They had the wrestling out in the courtyard, and then they had like an ICP show in there. And it was just a really tight area. Um, but uh, it, <laughs> but uh, the, the bartender, I'm talking to her about the ICP show, and I think it changed her life. Because <laughs> she's like that was wild, um, but anyways, no, a lot of fun show uh, again. Beastman, um, who else did I see there? Um, they had JCW Juggalo Championship Wrestling run by Rude Boy Rudy Hill, um, who is part of uh, you know Juggalo stuff mentioned in you know like best friend of Violent J of Insane Clown Posse. Uh, those guys are really integrated in the Detroit uh, wrestling scene. It was a 12 year anniversary of International Big Time Wrestling. I also caution the international because I think it's easy to have international in your name when you're so like across the river, literally like I could see Canada like it was t- take the turn to go to this neighborhood or the bridge to Canada uh, right across from Windsor there. Um, I question I- anybody that says international in their name that are in Pittsburgh, for instance, because how international are you? Uh, but anyways, uh, other th- yeah, it was a lot of fun. Go check out international big time wrestling if you're happening through Michigan. Uh, they were filming for Twitch. So uh, have fun. Uh, go go check that out, and you'll probably spot me in the crowd because I'm definitely in the GoPro they had going to the next room. So um, kind of stick out right next to the gr- giant green Hatchet Man sign uh, that was going on there. That was in my way a little bit. So, um, anyways, let's see. Just checking in here with you guys. Uh, a lot of lot of really a lot of comments about uh, WWE and stuff tonight. Mad Mike, how are you doing? How are you doing? Pip 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 have we actually started the show? Yeah, we've been running for a while. I didn't is think it, you were... is this pre-recorded? No, no, this is, this is pre-recorded. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Are you confused whether you came into a pre-recorded show or? Yes. <laughs> we okay. are live, baby. Well, here's here's my thing. I didn't think Mad Mike was coming. We are I... we are as live as Raw is. We're so yeah, we're as live. <laughs> as... <laughs> I think we're liver than Raw is. Yes, with less of an accent. Mad and Mike, I... what's Hold your on. yes? <clears throat> So, Sorg, how'd you like Raw tonight? Well, I'll tell you. I tell you. No, what. don't. Okay, don't. No. Do that, don't, don't. <laughs> Sorg, Hold on. Sorg, I need to have nope. a few. I need to have a nope. few more I, of these I, before I. I, uh, I yeah. let you. I let you I, have uh, one. I, uh, um, you guys. Some people may know that uh, I have not drank in a, over a year, and Raw has driven me to drink. Really? Yes. Um. All right, this is going to sound weird coming from me. I actually like the last hour of Raw. <laughs> well, I was preparing going into it. I wasn't expecting Okay, much. that's fair. Yes. All right. and there's... The one thing I think that Raw had going for it this time, mm-hmm. they had a not U.S. crowd. Oh, that always makes a difference. It was a huge um... difference. And I think this is the first time, well, this is the first time they've seen Becky two belts. And then we had, you know, Lacey and... Uh, Lacey and, and, and Charlotte, I thought that was a really good segment for a contract signing, which I feel like I've seen too much these days. That's true. So. Um, how, how if, if I if I never see another contract signing in 2019, I'll be okay with that. That'd be cool. That'd be all right with me. We, just, we need a point of res- we need a point of contention. Like, I'm still trying to figure out like, why Lacey Evans is even there. Um, oh, uh, she she curried favor. She curried yeah. favor. Aren't you yeah. paying attention? She curried favor. <laughs> Whatever the, the hell way, that I means. Ass- well, I mean, I I'm- assume that means uh, she gave the boys in the back her world famous curry. Okay, because oh, hanging out with indie wrestlers all weekend. Man, I bet that Lacey- has a completely different connotation. I to bet it. Lacey could make a match. <laughs> yeah, I bet Lacey. Could- well, no, I mean that that that's what the implication was. I'm I'm trying to get her out of it. Can you? Can she? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Even though she implied Becky had a dick, which was very weird. Yes. Hey. Becky, okay, you caught that. Becky does call herself the man. So yes. I mean, the reference yeah, but, all goes together. But that's, 
but that's just a fundamental not getting it. No, no, no. I think the, she was, did the same no, thing. No, she was just taking it literal, and I thought it kind of worked in the situation. But all right, Becky does have big dick energy. I'm sorry. And besides, that thing <laughs> she has, that thing she has swinging around her waist. Those are two oh. fucking titles. That's what that is. Oh no! I tell you what. That, oh, I tell you what. Big dick energy is the is the uh, title of the show tonight. All righty. Uh, so, uh, is there anything raw or otherwise that was kind of your favorite thing of the wrestling week since we met on Tuesday night, Mike? Uh, wowie zowie. Wowie zowie. <laughs> wowie zowie. Wow. Uh, we, we have gone the full DC Comics version of the Joker, mm -hmm. where he cut off his own face and stapled it back to his head. I've never seen a visual representation of an insane clown posse song over uh, several segments of Raw like that. I, right, but, Sorg, here's what I want. Here's what I want the universe to make happen. Hey, Wheels is in the chat room. Hi, Wheels. Thanks for leading the way. Um, hey, yo. So, so this is something I want to will into the universe, and I'm going to say it until it happens. Sorg, I want Bray Wyatt to be put in a music video with Poppy. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's really Sorg. Sorg? It's right there. It is. It's right there. And you don't know what the hell I'm we're talking about. If you don't know what we're talking about, if you don't know what we're talking about and, and you're not joining us live, pause YouTube. this thing. slash poppy. Pause this thing. Go to YouTube.com slash poppy. Uh, get yeah. freaked out for a little bit. Um, watch no more than two videos. It doesn't no, matter. No, what... no, 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 no. Do not listen to Sorg, dear listeners. Watch every Video. No, 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 Mike, 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 Sorg, con every Mike, video. context, no, I want you to pause this, every. go watch no more than two videos, w listen to the rest of the show, and then go back and, and fall down to Poppy okay. uh, right. That's Black fair. Hole. That's fair. Um, okay. One of the videos you should watch is the 10 minutes of her saying, I'm Poppy. Yes. <laughs> we'll lull you into your nightmares at night. Yes. Um, uh, we have different kinds of dreams, Sorg. <laughs> That was the best night of sleep I got in a while. Oh, man. Um, oh, man. Did I grab a bag? Of, okay. If, if people are telling me the things I did not get, please make me a list uh, for the next time I go to Michigan. I am literally going to Michigan in two and a half weeks again. Or did you see Michigan J-Frog? What? No, but Michigan. I did see the penis tower. I don't know how that tracks. Ypsilanti. <laughs> It's a uh, Ypsilanti. It's the penis tower. I don't know. Dutters was all about me going to visit it. There's a picture on his. On There's his a Facebook. picture. Yeah, check my Instagram, yo. You can't miss it. No, I I know. I saw it. it doesn't look like a penis. Uh, I've so seen a penis before. Are you sure? Listen, Mike. Just because the tower doesn't look like your penis doesn't mean it doesn't look like a penis. Yeah, I. But just because the tower is tall doesn't mean it looks like a penis. Holy crap! We need more ladies on this show. Missy, opinion. <laughs> it is very phallic in nature. There you go. Okay. All right. Maybe it just didn't translate in the photo. It's just know. like it's just okay. Maybe it wasn't a good angle. I'm sorry. Maybe the <laughs> lighting wasn't correct. Sorg, Sorg, Sorg. It's all about it's all about the shadow and the angle when yes. you try to take good yes. pictures. Like I'm that. sorry. Maybe just, maybe it was that's cold. Just true. I mean, I listen. <laughs> oh, listen. I've been married for like well 15 played, years. <laughs> I've been married for 15 years. I'm not used to the the angle. Haven't had much need. Sorry, Mike. That's that's a fair point. That's a fair. I'm point. out of. Uh, I'm you got, out of, you got I'm out get of like practice. A so you got to get like a POV shot. Plus, <laughs> plus when I would have done that, we had dial up, so it would have taken like 10 minutes. How, <laughs> how long does he take hey, the Sorg, Sorg, I am so Sorg. sorry. This, this is what this show has become. Sorg, Sorg, <laughs> give yourself a little credit. 20 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, 20 Give minutes some credit. All right. 20 minutes. Uh, wheels. I just like we just got over 56k. No. Mind you. Straight comment from Wheels. <laughs> looks like a penis. Just saying. Wheels thinks everything looks like a penis. <laughs> wheels. I said Wheels the RWA Spring Fling 2019. And we just finished editing. Looks he like said looks like a penis. Looks like a penis. I'm like wow, that's a really interesting commentary for a wrestling show. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> Monday Night Raw. Speaking of too many penises. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's a fair point. Um, all right, I have a quick, I have a quick question. I have a quick question. Please Can we that. fire the makeup person who worked on Nikki Cross? What is happening with Nikki Cross? Can we? What were people? No, no, what, no. Wait, what the were, characterization is fine. I, what was I, everybody I, mad about when they read the spoilers? Potter was mad I, about something. 
I think, I think when you read, this is why I try not to read the spoilers of the show. Yeah. Like unless, like unless I know I'm gonna miss part of it. You, you expect the worst. It's not described right. I mean, you, you, this, I mean, <laughs> Impact Wrestling. Tina. What? Tina, I'm so sorry, okay. Tina, and everybody else out there. Tina, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Listen, we're venting a lot I'm right now. I'm not even looking at the chat All of right us now. are just I need to go venting. Back and look at the chat There's a lot happening Tina this week. Tina says, okay, didn't need to know. Great penis trick <laughs> angles. Thanks. LOL. Listen, Tina, these are, these are life lessons. This is a podcast of education, whether you want the facts or not, okay? <laughs> we're just providing truth. <laughs> we're just providing truth. And we're giving you no information that's very far from what Raw was tonight. It's like Lori Beth Denberg's vital information for your everyday life. I don't even know what word you said. Anyways, we were saying Nikki Cross's oh, makeup. Matt. Jesus. Yeah, no. Um, I think people were getting upset because it, it on paper, looks like Nikki Cross is now the new Nia Jax, the new Mickey James, the new Lackey for Alexa Bliss. Because that's, that's, that's all I know how to do. No, but watching the segment, Apart from Nikki's terrible makeup job, yes. where she looked horrible. But I think that's the point for her character lately. No, no, it's not. No? No, because she didn't really wear makeup before. Okay. Like, the the fact that she gave a little crazy look at the end of the segment mm-hmm. make, at least gives me hope that there's something different at play here. Okay. Now, granted... I'm probably wrong mm-hmm. because what I just did is a storyline and <laughs> we don't like to do those. Yes. It's not your department, Mike. Yeah, no, it's not. It's it, You're not my supervisor. Like it, it's, that's not what we like to do on raw. Mm-hmm. So again, I'm writing something and that's not necessarily the, the yes. biggest, thing but he's writing really with his doing. mouth and his, and I'm, his I'm writing with my mouth and with good angles. Don't talk about angles anymore. I was going to say, we're still talking about no, penises. No more angles. No, oh. it was a good Thanks. angle Thanks, for Missy. Nikki Cross. Uh, a good angle geez. for Nikki Cross. So, no, but that's that's why people were getting upset. Because, yeah. But when Nikki Nikki came out for the match, she was still crazy Nikki Cross. Mm-hmm. And she won the match. So, good. I mean, that's good. At the best we can hope for out of this, knowing how WWE is, is Alexa will win the title again. And then she'll feud with Nikki, who might win the title from her. What do you think about um, uh, on Instagram, uh, you know, big Nikki Cross fans here on the yep. show. Mm-hmm. What do you think about her Instagram lately? Her Instagram is phenomenal. Because I love a you know, her when, YouTube channel is even better. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But I mean, there's just been like they pop up in my thing and you're like, oh, who's this? I'm just like, wait, Nikki Cross. Um, See, that's what I'm saying. Like her Instagram shows me that. It's not a gimmick. Like she can look real good with the right makeup, mm-hmm. but it's just whatever they did today just looked fucking terrible. And I apologize if that sounds super shallow, but it's you know it, it's it's a presentation of a character. And Nikki Cross did not look good. Mm-hmm. Uh, like like I'm not saying she doesn't look good and, normally. It's just the makeup was terrible. And that's important for Monday Night Raw. You know, they yeah. it, it, it is all about the visuals and the presentation. Uh, Tina is pointing out, uh, well, there is an opening for a lead writer for Raw, a work from home position. Uh, that's not a work from home position. I can't, I can't imagine. <laughs> the only work is you think you'll be seeing your home. Hey yo! Oh boy, that's why everybody burns out. Uh, by the way, for uh, I am all up. Just put this out there. Oh, and uh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait hold on. Ra- Let me... Speaking of writers on Raw, do we fully as a whole? Horrible ranking for the Marvel movies. Really? Yeah, horrible ranking for the Marvel movies. Oh, I forgot he was in there. Yeah. He has Iron Man below 15th. The first Iron Man. Bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. (laughs) And he has Age of Ultron, like, ranked fourth. What? Uh, what? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This is why Raw is the way it is. Uh, this is why Raw is how it is right now. Recent watching, uh, got through back through uh, Thor Ragnarok. I usually like watch the first twenty minutes and fall asleep, and yeah. uh, you know because I, I put. Who oh, no, uh, Thor's in a cage? Oh Ooh. no! I bet you're wondering how I got here. Um, <laughs> uh, well, you and, see, I turned into the big Lebowski. And... Yeah, yeah, and then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, 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 Guardians Volume Two, because I, I mm-hmm. feel like I've only watched it like once. 
So it's okay. Good. That's fair. So good. It just feels like uh, an episode of the Wacky Adventures of the Guardians to me, but uh, you know, not as like rewatchable as the first one. But still, I like it. You know, it's 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 definitely, man. You just go lower on that on that scale. Like even like Age of Ultron is not a horrible movie. Oh, no, it's not. But it ain't it, four. No, it's not it fourth. Ain't. It's, it's not four. fourth. There's at least. Uh, there's at least 18 good movies a, in front of it. Why are we talking about least, Marvel again? Okay. There's at least damn three it, better Dewey, Avengers movies. Sam and Dewey Foley. I had a point before we got into this, and I don't sorry. remember what it is now. I'm sorry, sorry. Writers. By the way, supporting writers. Krista Joseph, uh, <laughs> he tweeted the other day something about needs a new voice in wrestling, and it has to be started a podcast. And, Mike, I think you were in on that conversation. <laughs> He even said he'd love to do a podcast with me. Yes, yes. And I, I would love to do a podcast with Chris and Joseph. That'd be oh, great. I, the, I, will, I will happily produce the Chris and Mike show. <sighs> uh, which I wish, I you know, we I don't know what the rest of the format is, but there's just a late format where where Mike just tries to wrangle another Lucha Underground secret out of him. No, no, no. It's, it's going to be completely left field. It's going to be the two of them talking physics. Physics? Yep. I can talk no, physics. He's a, Oh, I guess he can. I guess that goes along with the chemical engineering. I'm right? a scientist. He is a scientist. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Is like I, I want that to be the thing. I don't know what Chris Anybody Joseph's knew... background is, but we're gonna find out that he's like this mad scientist guy that just. Uh, that's... Matt, was, he looks like he could be a mad scientist. Exactly. He could pull yeah. it off. Uh, mad Mike for uh, any uninitiated. Mad Mike does have uh, masters, bachelor's, Master, master's degree in chemical master's. engineering. I have so many friends with master's degrees. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. Despite this outward appearance, I'm <laughs> actually reasonably intelligent. Which is Listen, funny man. because I totally feel uneducated because yeah. a lot of my friends have master's degrees yeah. and they have PhDs I have, and I have they have a have bachelor's stuff. I have a ba- tech bachelor's from an art school. What the fuck am I doing? Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. You're living your best life. <laughs> So are you, Mike. So you, are you. You do you. Because am I using my master's degree? <laughs> no, I'm not. Do you want to know the last time I used my, my, my educational background, Sorg? When I made slime at Toys R Us. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time. Dude, I made slime at the library. It was amazing. Anyways, Monday Night Raw. <laughs> With slime. <laughs> <laughs> oh geez, what else happened? Who's your favorite part, Raw? I don't know. Slime. <laughs> uh, last man standing. I always like a good last man standing. I always like seeing what that arena arena is like. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was fun. And Sammy's in the Money in the Bank match now. Yeah, cool. holy crap. Which, and I hope this means that Bra- that Drew and Corbin are not going to win it because Baron's gonna be very upset. I mean, Braun's going to be very upset, and he's going to take both of them out. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited for that because those are two guys I don't want to see win it. <laughs> I'm honestly okay with everyone else that's not Randy Orton. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Um, happy with Basically, the Basically, if, if you were with the company in 2008, I don't want to see you win that match. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you're over 40 roll. Um, anyway, yep. uh, so uh, two things. Two things. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. First of all, by the way, Alex, Game of Thrones is not greater than Raw. Mm. At best, they're equal at this point. At this point, uh, yeah. I don't know. I wasn't that mad about it. This this season has not been good. Oh, another good. discussion. Another discussion. Another show. Another show. Another show. Damn it! I forgot my things again. Stay stay, stay tuned to Pod of Thrones. Pod of Thrones. <laughs> is that, is that the one you're doing have. with Chris? Somebody and has to have that already. Sure. Um, I forget what I was going to say. And I lost both things I was gonna say now. Damn it! Short attention span. I'm sorry. I'm I'm driving this show into the ground. <laughs> no, I think Raw oh, does in general. Raw, um, maybe a sign of their desperation. I got an email today from WWE. Maybe Good you did times. see. No, 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 no. It was to my personal one. I don't. Oh, know. okay. Did I sign it up to the Good Times Wrestling Mayhem show with the uh, WWE? I, I, I try I, not to do that too much. I haven't seen those emails. I feel bad because I think so. I think I just subscribed to a new Patreon guy. So congrats. So have fun when you get those emails, uh, guys on the show. Uh, but anyways, I, I think wait. it's just me. I think it's just me. Is that it gets just you now? Everybody else yeah. is gone. No, I think I think Chad still gets it at the old um, backyard wrestling promotion email that he has. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I know I get them from twelve years ago. Um, but. Yeah. They sent an email about what was going to happen on Raw tonight. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, no. They're... Roman on Miz TV and I think the contract signing, perhaps. Well, if you notice, the past two weeks, 
they've put out releases on social media of basically every match that's going to happen on Raw. Yeah, so every match slash important segment. Wait, are they are they running Raw like an indie promotion? Mm. Yep. Mm. Okay. That'd be nice. Um, <laughs> well, no, not, not, well, not a, not it a depends good on which promotion. wrestling promotion card subject to change. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, no, it was a good run. I mean, there was a good vibe to it, but you always get a little bit better vibe when we go to London. They do something fun. They do something interesting. I don't know what it is, and I don't know what that philosophy is that makes them do this and say, oh, we're going to turn in a lackluster repeat matches show like we have like the last two weeks, right? Well, it's because well, they always know it's going to be a hot crowd, and they know that if they don't bring it, that crowd's going to shit on everything. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, it, yeah. it's, like, it's like when they run Chicago. It's like when they run Chicago or Philly. Usually those big towns get the better shows. Yeah. But if you're running Des Moines, Des Moines a cold crowd as it is. So why even bother? Absolutely. Like unless it's Seth Rollins, they're not going to give a shit. Um, are you over on the um, recap videos to remind us who the people are we see every week on Raw? Mm, what? We had these giant recaps reminding us how important Seth oh, Rollins and AJ Styles. Oh yeah, Styles. no, those, those aren't. Those are pointless. Yeah, it just seems like those are fucking filler. I, I, I guess introducing a new audience is is always a, a part of this. No, they they always do this when there's no story. Because mm-hmm. I have a feeling, because AJ wasn't on Raw tonight, right? Uh, no, he he was at least doing interview segments. Uh yeah yeah. I have a feeling he may have been at a house show. Yeah. Okay. I have I have a funny feeling about that. There were Keith um, Lee chants tonight, says Potter. Good. Hmm. Yeah, um, Tina said I didn't really feel like a go home raw, no, and I no. completely forgot it was a go home raw. <laughs> um, but anyways, it, it, a lot it, a lot of kind of uh kind of booing in the uh in the chat room right now. Um, no, I think it was a little bit more, but I don't know if it's what they need. And of course, we're going to go into awkward season because they did just announce the uh, Saudi Arabia show coming up here. <sighs> so here we go again, guys. Oh, but I'm sure... um, hey, you know what? I will say this. I was scared. The initial reports were that um, Kofi was going to drop the belt to a one Mr. William Scott Goldberg, and that is not happening. William Scott. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's not happening, and I'm actually, I'm actually okay with the card. I'm not gonna watch the show. Mm-hmm. But Triple H or Randy Orton, great. Doesn't fuck up my timeline. Undertaker versus Goldberg, good. Doesn't fuck up my timeline. Um, Carlos is saying that he heard that WWE's non-Raw house show had Walter versus r Truth. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. That sounds goddamn amazing. <laughs> Give me that. And Matt, Matt, hold on, hold on. Matt, I I hate to be this guy. You spelled Walter wrong. He has it's all, not. It's all you cap. need more caps. Need more caps. Guys, we got cap. a lot going on this week. Uh, no Indie Mayhem show. I'm hoping to get something scheduled to return next week for that. Um, but uh, we do have Jason Gorey is going to be joining us in the studio. First time in this studio for episode 666 of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We'll see what scary things happen. Yeah, we wowie. Hopefully he's not. Hopefully he's not angry that I screwed up the numbering and had to bump him back a week. But uh, you know, it's not scary Sorry. to have a safety professional on episode six six six. Sorry, he's just gonna rain fire down upon the studio. Rain fire? I don't know. He has this mist thing, so I'm kind of worried about that. So he had a really good match this weekend. Oh, uh, uh, which where? Huh? The, the stomp out cancer. The stomp or out not, cancer. Not stomp out cancer. I'm sorry. Uh, the uh, rising from the, the ashes. Sean Phoenix, the Sean uh, Phoenix show. show. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, teaming with uh, G Raver, Generation Dead, reuniting against Atticus and Remy. Reunited uh, and for the culmination. Felt so good. There you go. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to edit that. So much wrestling. I think I have five wrestling shows to edit at this point, and a dance recital. And there are. Are there three wrestling shows on Saturday? I think we are definitely filming at least two of them. Yes, there are three. And speculations if we can stretch out to the third. So Yeah. But anyways, a lot of great stuff going on here. Um, uh, we got that. Um, also, I will be in California this weekend. I will uh, hopefully, I think, be swinging by the Women of Wrestling TV taping. Our friend uh, Ray Lynn uh, Chantilly something something uh, that I can't ever remember. Chantilly. Uh, what the Chantilly Chilla? Yeah. 
It's like saying Chihuahua. It's like saying John Chichilla from Awesome Cast. No. Chantilly Chilla. Chella. 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 We went through a whole session on me learning this before her interview uh, a few a month ago. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be hopefully dropping by there for that. Uh, I believe I will be hanging with one Alex Cars of Occupy Pro Wrestling at Rise with an Eye Tapings. And uh, I have another women's show. It's a big women's weekend week in, in California, apparently. Um, and we're rolling into another women's week here next and, week. And then next week we're got Angel Gate Wrestling on iPay Per View with uh, Casey Spinelli. If you haven't seen, like I first experienced her like back in November. She's amazing. She's awesome. She's awesome. And a lot of other great. Uh, Brave Lane actually will be a part of that as well. Um, we also have, uh, like I mentioned, RWA Spring Fling uh, just released today. Our friends at RWA are going to have a show this Saturday. Our friends at Revenge Pro Wrestling in Erie. We'll be doing that. If you guys are up in the Erie area, Missy and Dutters will be uh, hanging out and helping out with the production and uh, back end for that uh, from our IndieWrestling.us team. And so, so scared about sending the two of us to Erie. If you say hi to them, they get to chop you. That See, it works well, in they reverse get to chop for you? Dutters. Oh, the, yeah. the Dutters gets to yeah, chop you. It, it works in reverse for Dutters and Missy. I feel like she might be able to charge for that. Um, yes. <laughs> Yes, that that would totally be a thing. I'm Although, I'm not I'm not going to add any please wear a sign. I got in tr- I got in trouble last time. Yes, uh, a lot of stuff going on. Mad Mike for eighty three on the tweets. YouTube.com slash Poppy and, pay, and you want you want you want a great night, guys. Here's what you do: you get two YouTube streams going, one with all the Firefly Funhouse on a playlist, one with oh, Poppy no. on a playlist. Oh no! You just back to back to back oh, to back no. to back to back that shit. You will thank me in the morning. Life changing. If you sleep. Life changing. Yes. Okay. I'm Poppy. Thank you, everybody in the chat room. Thank you, Potter, Tina. Uh, I see an Andy out there, Matt Carlins, uh, and Wheels, and so many more popping in throughout the evening here. Uh, Please subscribe to the WMS Super Feed over on your favorite podcast platform so you can get this and other Wrestling Mayhem shows. And uh, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. WrestlingMayhemShow.com for all the wrestling fun and articles, including one uh, analyzing last week's Raw. If you're like, what the hell did we do here? Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mad Mike. Until next time, um, keep it monday Is that is that adequate? Is that okay? Yowie wowie. Yowie wowie. Later. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time to This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more.